Members of Parliament are divided on the government's decision to bail out city tycoon Patrick Bitature with 240 billion Ugandan shillings. Some legislators are against the proposal saying it is a sign that the government is not committed to prioritizing the needs of Ugandans while others are saying the position of bailing out Bitature is good for the country's economy. These legislators have, however, unanimously agreed that there is a need for the government to present a policy to Parliament that guides the circumstances under which someone can be bailed out without discrimination. Now that is kicking us off. A highly reliable source from within the government disclosed that the cabinet that convened on Monday this week unanimously passed a cabinet paper to bail out city tycoon Patrick Bitature with 240.9 billion shillings. The move is aimed at saving the city businessman Patrick Bitature from the jaws of the biting 35 million US dollar loan owed to South African company Vantage Mezzanine Fund 2. The government position has, however, been opposed by a number of legislators, arguing that the priority areas that needed much more attention than bailing out are in the video. Who told you it's only Bitature who is suffering? Very many businesses have closed that don't even require 240 billion. They require little money. And to imagine that we have a cabinet that can approve this kind of money when they cannot respond to the smallest issues that affect the ordinary citizen, that vote for them, that put them in power, it is the biggest shame. They say that it's unfortunate to bail out a man whose Electromax thermal plant has failed to supply power to the sub-region of West Nile. So it is very shocking to again hear that uh, Mr. Bitature, whose Electromax company consistently failed to generate electricity in West Nile and has been paid every quarter, even when they are not generating electricity. The MPs threatened to oppose the expenditure once tabled for parliament approval. This is a broad daylight robbery. How do you pick that man and say you are giving an individual? We are waiting for this document to come on the floor of parliament. I am NRF, but I want to assure government I will reject that proposal. However, MPs Mariam Naigaga of Namutumba and Michael Mawanda of Igara East have welcomed the decision. Now for the case of Bitature, who built his empire from scratch, and is, all his investments are within the country, that it can be assessed and evaluated. He employs most of the Ugandans here. Honestly speaking, I will 100% stand with that, that let Bitatule be bailed out, then the government sits and sorts out his faults while managing his empire. So if government comes in to give a hand to any of our enterprising people, I think it is the right way to go. In fact, in other countries, they give them subsidies. The MPs are now asking government to urgently present a policy that will guide on bailouts in the country for financially strapped investors or companies. The government must have, must have a policy that is too generous to all Ugandans. We have no policy, we have no law, we have no guidelines. Just one man or two people's decision to say, Minister, bail that one out, issue money. We did demand for this policy, but up to now, nothing has been done. So we still put up the, the, uh, the calls to demand the Minister of Finance to get the government to order. But at this particular moment, we shouldn't uh, sacrifice Vitatule because the government has failed, because we are part of government. Shamim Nawakoza, Sam Ibanamgabi, NBS, live at 9.